Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited. I've been planning this for a couple weeks now. I'm going to be doing my major Pat McGrath Labs Spring VIP sale. <laughs> I'm LOLing because I just completely forgot to say the word haul. So this video is a haul. I'm going to be showing you the products that I picked up for myself, some items that I got to pick out with a gift card, and then I'll also be talking about some other recommendations that I couldn't haul because I already own them. Take advantage of, I think today should be the last day of the sale. Hopefully this will help you pick out some last second items that you've been wanting if you are interested. And if that sounds good to you, then just keep watching. So the major details about the sale, unless they extend it, the last day of the sale should be today. Hopefully I got that right and hopefully they extend it anyways. This is the spring VIP sale. You get 20% off if you spend under $150 and any purchase over $150 you get 25% off. And I know this kind of is around the same time as the Sephora VIP sale, but for most of you who are interested in Pat McGrath, this is a better deal, you know, if you aren't a Sephora VIP Rouge or if you spend over $150. $50 you actually get 25% off so that's why I would recommend going for this sale but of course you only have one more day at least to do that but if you've been planning on making a few Pat McGrath purchases this might be the better choice for you so I just wanted you to be aware of that something very special you guys know I posted on my community tab my cart of what I purchased when I first saw that this sale happened and then magic links reached out to me and they were kind enough to send me a gift card and let me pick out some more items from this sale so I was just gonna do a small haul at first but now it is a really majorly <laughs> large haul of Pat McGrath stuff and so I took advantage of the gift card and I tried to up my lip game from Pat McGrath because I don't have a lot of her lip colors so I definitely purchased a lot of lip colors so be prepared for that and I just want to say thank you because the reason Magic Links noticed me was because you guys shopping through my affiliate links which is so amazing I don't expect any of you to shop from them but if you do I seriously from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for the support that you are showing me just by shopping through those links trust me I notice and I'm so thankful for those of you that do go out of their way to use my links as you know those links and that support I get from that aspect of YouTube is what allows me to continue to create new content on new products so those of you who do go out of your way to shop through my links thank you so much I appreciate the support you're giving me and I don't want to get too emotional here but just know I am thankful and it's because of you guys that these opportunities and these videos they all come to me because of what you have given me I didn't explain this well enough in the video, but if you don't know what Magic Links is, that is the company that I use for all of my affiliate links, and I never thought much of it. I mean, I thought the affiliate links themselves was as much as a gift to me as possible, and so the fact that they reached out to me and was like, hey, here's a gift card, I was like, I don't know. I'm so thankful, Magic Links. Thank you so much for noticing me and reaching out. I have been waiting for this package to arrive. As you can see, it is a big black box which means it's a lot of Pat McGrath stuff. I'm gonna lay everything out on my table so that I can get this video as organized as possible. So we are going to go in order of eyes then face then lip products that I've purchased. Now remember this is a mixture of gifted things as well as things that I've personally purchased by myself with my own money. So I have everything laid out. We're gonna go in the order of eyes, face, and then lips. Like I said the lips part is what's very heavy in this video just because I lacked that the most from Pat McGrath. But let's get into it. So first eyes. I wanted to take advantage of the sale so I did order a bundle of the eyeliner and mascara. That bundle did include the Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil. I haven't heard the most amazing things about this item in particular but I haven't tried it and of course you guys know I try to educate myself from all angles of Pat McGrath's brand so I did just want to pick up the black pencil to try and from what I've heard it's a pretty average black pencil. I'm always looking for a black pencil to grab so I didn't necessarily need this but it just kind of was a nice bonus that I added into my cart and I just ugh. I don't know how people, what do you guys do with your boxes? They're just so pretty, I can't get rid of them. And then also in the set, we have the Fetish Eyes Mascara and then the Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I enjoy the liner. I do find that it does dry out a little bit faster than I would like, but the formula is really nice. It's very matte, it's very black, it's very easy to work with. And then Fetish Eyes Mascara, you guys know, is probably my absolute favorite mascara. So I just got this while it was on sale because I know this is something I would be repurchasing anyways. So I got this little bundle 
bundle. And then I also picked up a new Blitz Astral Quad. I got Ritualistic Rose. I already have this, but I picked this up as a gift for somebody else, and I do want to show you. 25% off. I couldn't not. And this is just an item that so many people love and appreciate because it is the Blitz formula all in one little cute quad. And I just think this is a very good universal color story as well. So if you've been wanting to try Pat McGrath and you really want to try her Blitz Astral shades, which is what she's known for and what I think is the most unique thing about her brand, these Blitz Astral quads are perfect to pick up because you don't have to spend $125 for one of her big palettes and you get to try specifically her Blitz Astral formula. Face items, I did not pick up very much, but I did pick up the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. You guys know I'm already obsessed with this, but I actually picked this up in LM12 because I wanted something to work more as a spot concealer for me because I do actually really like the way that this concealer covers my blemishes. So I thought while I can, why not pick up a deeper shade, which I don't know if this will actually match my skin complexion, but I went a few shades darker in hopes that it will work out. And then I also picked up a new of the Blurring Under Eye Setting Powder. You guys know I'm also extremely obsessed with this powder. It's one of the most blurring, silky powders that I have in my collection. I am so obsessed with it. So I got it in medium so that I can set the rest of my face. I don't want to open this because the stupid glitter is going to get everywhere, but I got the medium and the under eye setting powder because I want to use it all over my face. Honestly, I should pick up a couple others so that I can put these in my makeup kit because I think my clients will really really love that powder. The last thing that I picked up was the Skin Fetish Highlighter and Balm Duo. This is just something that I didn't have and I wanted to try. The reason why I hadn't purchased this before is cream highlighters. They don't really do it for me. I'm not into cream highlighters but I figured this was my opportunity to try it out and oh my gosh this packaging is so luxe. Let's see if it'll focus. So one side, this is the highlighter side, and then this is the balm side. I actually like have no idea how to use these, so I will have to try and figure that out. Hopefully this is really good. I'm excited to actually try this because this is one of the few things from the line that I have absolute zero experience or knowledge in. We're already moving on to the lip section. I picked up all together six lip liners. You guys know these are one of the best lip liner formulas in my opinion. They're just so creamy and they last a really, really long time so this has so cute packaging so this one right here we have supernatural which is just like a perfect beige nude color the next one that i got was buff this one is more of a pinky rose kind of shade. Oh, I love this packaging. This is the packaging of Major Red. I wanted to get her formula in a red because I feel like it would really stop the bleeding and make lipsticks last forever that are red. So, I mean, obviously that's pretty self-explanatory what that kind of color is going to look like. This next one is in like this beautiful kind of galaxy box. This one is 1980. I think this is the weird color that I picked up. I wanted to pick up a color that I normally wouldn't pick out for myself. Oh yeah, that's so fun. It's kind of this hot kind of magenta purple color right here. I'm excited to see what I can do with this and what kind of lipsticks I'll pair this with. I already know one of the Opulus glosses are just going to be incredible with this. And then this next one we have is Ground Control. I don't know if you guys really care to see the boxes, but I just love the packaging of her stuff. So Ground Control. I put this one up top, but this is just like a really deep chocolate brown color and this can be very intimidating if you have a lighter skin tone but this is the perfect color for ombre lips and they're really soft so you can blend them out and then this last one here is bare rose oh yeah and this is definitely like the lightest pink kind of shade definitely a great everyday lip color very exciting to build on that part of my collection so let's move on to lipsticks now i did purchase one lipstick trio this is the mini mini trance lipstick trio trio. In here you're getting Christy, Beautiful Stranger, and Flesh 3. I love her little sets of minis because they are only $25 so it's a great way to try out her formula, kind of expand your range of colors in her line as well. So if I didn't own any repeats I tried to pick these up when I can because it's the best way to get the most colors and $25 to begin with is a great deal. If you take another 25% off like you really can't do better than that. So that's why I recommend if you have a small collection and you really want to build on that Pat McGrath collection, 
Right now, go online and order as much of these minis as you can because you'll get a lot. And let's move on to her lipsticks. Now, I did only purchase one of her Lux Trance lipsticks because all of those were sold out by the time that I got to it. Uh, but I did pick up one of her Lux Trance, which I do prefer that formula because it is more moisturizing. So I think that's why those sold out fast. But I picked up Madame Grage. I thought this would be a very interesting kind of different color than I normally have. And of course, her bullet formula is just so luxurious so heavy and let me swatch this oh, that's so pretty here's madame grage which is that beautiful purple grayish color. It is so stunning, and this is a really unique color, but I can see this going with a lot of very cool purple looks, so I'm excited about that, and I love how smooth that swatch. Let's see, the next one that I have here, this is a matte trance, and I'm not as big of a fan of her matte trance. I think they're still very nice, but I just prefer the luxe trance. It's more comfortable on the lips. I just don't like matte colors in general. It's not Pat McGrath's fault, but this is Candy Flip, and I wanted a brighter color, and I Actually, this isn't as bright as I thought it was gonna be. So like I said, this is Candy Flip. Oh, just kidding, it swatches much brighter. So you have this really bright coral color. This is going to be so fun in the summer, which I'm very excited for. So I, I wanted to pick a brighter color and I'm very happy that I picked this one out because this one is gonna be great the summer and the spring just to brighten up your face. So I can't wait to see what that looks like on me. The other matte trance that I picked up is OMI or AMI. I'm not sure how that's supposed to be pronounced, but I wanted a more wearable color as well for my collection. And this just looks like a really nice kind of pale nude shade. Oh yeah. This is that rose brown shade that's like my everyday favorite. So I'm really excited. I can see myself wearing this color a lot. This is a great color. I'm glad I picked that one out. I also picked up a couple of her Blitz Trance lipsticks. I love these from her. I think they play a perfect role in between a metallic and glittery shade. Like she did such a good job with these and the packaging of course is incredible as always. And so this first one we have is Full Fantasy which is more of kind of like a wearable color. So this one does not seem to have much blitz to it. It's a beautiful color though, a great nude, but this one is not like the other blitz trance that I have. It felt very, very creamy. Maybe I'll see more of that glitter on the lips, but this one seems like just like a shiny lipstick, which is fine. I'm sure this is beautiful, but it's not what I was expecting. And this next one is Lady Stardust. So again, beautiful. And I did purchase more natural colors of the Blitz Trance. Am I missing something? Because all of the Blitz Trances that I have from before are like actually glittery shiny. These just seem like normal lipsticks to me. Nonetheless, Lady Stardust it's also this really pretty nude kind of pink color, but these don't seem very blitzy to me. I mean, they they look beautiful though. Somebody answer these questions for me. So that's all I have for lipsticks. Let's go into glosses. We're gonna start off with all of the little mini packs. Remember, $25 for a trio. These are such a good deal. So this I actually did not pick up from the sale. I picked this up from Sephora when it came out, but I thought I might as well add it in this video. This is the Opulust Glossed Trio. So you can get this at Sephora as well for the VIB sale but you can get a little bit more off. You throw it into a Pat McGrath sale. I haven't tried these yet. I'm very excited to see how these look. They're super glittery glosses and I heard they were incredible. So I was so happy to see that they came out with a trio. This is the best way to try out the formula. So I'm gonna put the swatches up now so you can see. I just don't wanna open up these minis for the stuff to come flying everywhere. But this is the Opulus Trio. In here you are getting Lavendering, Dreamscape, and Naked Rose. And very beautiful colors. I think that lavendering is gonna go really pretty with that bright purple lip liner that I bought. And then I also got the Bronze Opulence Lip Gloss Trio. So in here, you're getting Pale Fire Nectar, which is an amazing duochrome sparkly lip color, Flesh Six and Lunar Bronze. So this is a great kind of more wearable set of lip glosses. So I think a lot of people are going to like this one. And then I got two of these because I'm gifting my mom 
with one of these because I don't think she has any of these glosses. This is the Sunset Seduction Lust Gloss Trio. In here you have Love Potion, Sunset Rose, and Flesh 6. And again, this is just like a really great everyday wearable nude gloss combination. So love these little guys from her. Highly, highly, highly recommend. All right, so let's move on to the individual like full-size glosses that I purchased. So I purchased two Opu Lust Gloss, so not the glittery ones. And the first one that I picked up was Faux Real. And both of the Opulus glosses I got were really nude. So here's what Faux Real looks like. And this is gonna go on top of every single one of the nude lips that I wear. I love her lip glosses. She has one of my favorite formula. They just last so long on your lips and they make your lips look so shiny. They fill in all of the lines as well. So nothing makes my lips more smooth and juicy than her formula, which is why I'm so obsessed with it. Here is what Faux Real looks like. Ugh, this one is so milky and pigmented. I love it. And then the other one that I picked up was Nude Negligee. And this one I think is like, yeah, so white. It's almost clear. This is gonna be a great center of the lips kind of color. This one basically is nude, just kind of looking at it with that like kind of milkiness to it. Really pretty. I think a lot of people are going to love this color as well. So very happy with these two shades. And then the other two shades that I purchased were the Opu Lust Gloss Formula and they come in hot pink boxes. That is incredible. So I picked up Bronze Seductress. Let's see, I haven't even swatched any of these. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. How incredible is that? Here we go, this is my first time swatching the Opulust glosses. Ooh, oh my gosh. That's like liquid metal in a gloss. I want you guys to know that I watch over myself when I'm editing and I'm like, I'm so dramatic, but it's fine. We all need a little drama in our life. Look how pretty that is. I love that so much. I'm so excited to see how these look on the lips. They look very, very promising. And the last thing for this entire haul, actually, this is the Obulus Gloss, of course, in the shade Coral Liaison. Coral Liaison, that should be right. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that, how stunning is that? Let's see how she swatches. Oh, I love this. This has like a pink and gold shift to it. You can see that. Now I want to own all of these Opulus glosses and I haven't even put them on my lips, but they look so stunning. So that is all I have for the haul. But I do want to talk about some other things that I do recommend if you were interested in shopping this sale today, picking up some last minute goodies. As far as complexion goes, I do really enjoy her foundation. I don't think it's worth $70, but if you can get 25% off, that is a good time to purchase it. I really like her foundation. It's very lightweight, comfortable on the skin. It just kind of evens your skin tone, gives you about a medium coverage. I really like her foundation so I think for 25% off I would purchase it so I do recommend that. I know there's a lot of opposing opinions to mine but I like the foundation so I recommend it. The concealer of course I mean I've talked about that enough. Concealer and the blurring powder. The concealer and the under eye powder have been my favorite new items that have released in a long time. Like my love for them runs so deep. Those are like the main things as far as complexion goes. I of course recommend the mascara. Eyeshadow palettes I think are going to be the big heavy hitters that most of you are interested in. And if I didn't already own all of the eyeshadow palettes already, I would have picked up a bunch if I could have. So the ones I recommend, let me just grab them for you guys. Of course, anyone that you're interested in, I highly recommend. They're all great. But of course, the big guys that I recommend are the big mothership palettes because it's such a good deal. All you need to get is this and then like a lip gloss or something and you'll get 25% off. So the one that I recommend the most just because I find it to be both the most wearable and one of the prettiest. I find this one to have the best balance between wearable but also allowing you to be artistic. That one of course is the bronze seduction palette. It's just my favorite of all of them. The perfect balance. Like you can get a wearable look with it but you can also really jazz it up, spice it up. If you're looking for something a little bit more wearable. The Midnight Sun is a really great one as well. I like it because you have a pop of purple in here, but again, you can also get really wearable looks 
in here as well. Like very, very neutral colors. These first four scream bridal to me. And then you have these to kind of mix it up, but they're also still kind of wearable. And then this one I just did a tutorial on and you guys loved it. This one is the subversive. And a lot of you find this one to be the most intimidating and the most overwhelming. But personally, it's one of the most inspiring in her line, if you ask me. So that's why I also recommend subversive. If you can get it for 25% off as well, if you don't think you would use this as much, I mean, at least you get some sort of a discount. But if you love playing with smoky eyes and different colored smoky eyes, you're going to love this one. So those are the top three ones that I recommend. If you don't want to go full throttle and purchase the Mothership ones, look into her Blitz Astro Quads as well, like that rose one that I showed you. Again, really stunning and a great way to dig into her formula. And then as far as lips, Definitely recommend her lip liners if you couldn't tell she has some of the best lip liners If you can dip into her luxe trance lipsticks, that's what I would recommend But last I saw they were sold out, but these guys are the main things that I do also recommend is the little mini sets getting an additional 25% off is just superb such a good deal that is all I have for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you found it helpful as well if you decide to shop this last day of the sale have fun and if not of course I get it I don't want it to seem like I'm disregarding what is happening in the world because obviously there are more important things happening also if you are wondering about this eye look I do have a tutorial for this look coming it will be up next week so there there is something coming in case you want to see how I got this look. That is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I hope you guys take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.